if I am in Christ, then I haven't been given miraculous authority in the name of Jesus. Let me give you some scripture. Not my claim, not my words. Let me back it up. Summoning his 12 disciples, he gave them authority. 12 disciples, he gave them authority over unclean spirits to drive them out and heal every disease and sickness. These demons were causing problems. These demons were bringing in the filth, and he gave them power. The miracle of deliverance. How many people did he give it to? Twelve, okay? Now, in Luke chapter 10, uh, another passage, the Lord appointed the groups growing. He appointed how many? Seventy-two others. Not just twelve, but now seventy-two more. And he sent them ahead of him, two by two. They were to go into the town and to spread the news. Jesus is coming. But they also were given authority. The 72, they came back and returned with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. Even the demons, that power that you gave 12 is now upon us too. And he said to them, I, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority over all the powers and all the authority of the enemy. Do not rejoice in this spirits are subject but rejoice that your names are written in heaven he said the biggest miracle is not that i give you power over demons it's the power that happened in you your deliverance and don't get more excited about other people's miracles than you have your own is what he's saying he's saying your name is written in heaven i've done something in your life you have been delivered and it's got to start there. It's got to start with our understanding that we have been delivered. And if we understand the blood's been applied to our life, we didn't deserve it, but God delivered us.